Well, hello there, guys and dolls. How are you on this wonderful Saturday? Tonight, we're gonna make one of my favorite pre-prohibition drinks, the Aviation. It has gin, one of my absolute favorite liquors, creme de violette and maraschino liqueur, truly exotic flavors, and then a little bit of lemon to add a little brightness and a little sweetness. And remember, it also boosts your immune system. So shall we get started? It's time for a cocktail, because it's five o'clock here. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on subjecting you to my questionable continental accent this whole time. But if you indulge me, maybe I'll slip in and out of it, who knows. So, the aviation started. The first time it was actually ever written down in a book was 1916. And that's when the creme de violette, this beautiful liqueur here, See, I told you I would just slip in and out of this accent. Once I start an accent, I kind of can't get rid of it. It's not quite method acting, but it's more like a tick. I just start and I can't stop. And the liquor does make it worse. Or better. Who knows? So we're going to start out with one and three quarters ounce of gin. Because in 1916 and then in the 1930s, gin was all the rage. And 1930 is an important year because that's when the aviation found itself in the Savoy cocktail book, The Savoy Hotel, from the Strand in London, England, by Harry Craddock, one of the ultimate cocktail books of the early 1900s. Now, he left out that beautiful purple-violet liqueur, but I'm going to keep it in because I like the flavor. It gives a nice floral nature to it and it makes it just a hint of purple, which is the color of royalty. So we're gonna start out, you know, I'm not gonna kick this accent, I'm gonna have to do this all the way through this video. Wonderbird Spirits is the gin I'm gonna use today. It's made from rice grown in the Mississippi Delta, and it's got beautiful floral notes, and it's absolutely wonderful. They're also making hand sanitizer right now, so if you wanna support them, please do. So we're gonna do one ounce and three quarter ounces. So, there we go. And we're gonna shake this sucker because it's got different densities because we got our lemon juice and we've got all of our different liqueurs and our gin. Now then, for the pretty stuff, I'm gonna do now one quarter of an ounce of this beautiful creme de violette. And uh, this is from Rothman and Winter. It's one of those things that if you get one bottle, you're gonna have it forever. So it's a good investment to make because you can keep it going. Unless aviations are your new favorite thing and then you can drink it on down. So we're gonna do one quarter of this just to give it that beautiful little floral hint and that lovely color. All right, one quarter. Now, then we're gonna do one half of an ounce of Luxado. Now you can use any kind of maraschino liqueur. Other people make them. You can also get a big bottle of Marasca. I do like Luxado because they also make the most beautiful cherries. And you gotta support those wonderful Italian people right now. We love you, Italy. You're gonna get back on your feet, as are all of us. One half of an ounce. Lovely. And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. What did I say? You gotta boost that immunity. All right, so we've got our gin, we've got our creme de violette, we've got our luxado, we've got our gin, and we've got our lemon juice. Now what are we missing? Ice. So let's pop this sucker full of ice. <laughs> full of ice. Now we're gonna shake it. Imagine that there's crazy 20s music going on in the background, and it sounds crazy. But what was even crazier is that at that time, most women weren't even allowed behind the bar because bartending was a horrendously masculine-dominated profession. And even today, there are jerks out there who say that there's no place for a woman behind the bar. And to that, I say, Bowie. And you should too. I think it's ready. Didn't get it on that first try. Ah, there it is. 
So I'm gonna double strain this sucker because I want this to be beautiful and clear and lovely for us. So I've got my Hawthorne strainer and I've got my tea strainer. You can use any kind of fine mesh strainer, even the big ones for pasta. Just make sure your aim is on point. Got this beautiful glass here and we're gonna strain it right into it. Oh, that lovely color. Oh, it's like a pea flower. Again, purple, violet, the color of royalty. And now you can garnish this with a Luxardo cherry if you like, but I prefer lemon peel. Now just a twist, you can use just a regular twist or you can get creative. And uh, my knife skills aren't what they used to be. Well, I guess they never were anything. So this is an airplane. Howard Hughes would be proud. Well, probably not. He'd probably still be locked up in a hotel, especially right now with the virus. Can you imagine what Howard Hughes was doing right now with the coronavirus? He'd probably buy out the whole hotel, make sure that nobody could enter. And I'm gonna use this beautiful little tiny, tiny clothespin that I pilfered from a bar. Not really pilfered. It's, you know, they were gonna throw it away. So I said, I'm gonna take this for myself, clean it off. Waste not, want not. Now I'm gonna pin it right to the side here to make it look like my plane is taken off. And there we go, guys and dolls. An aviation for all my friends stuck inside. Don't worry. Someday the skies will be ours again and we'll be flying all over this beautiful planet of ours. Until then, it'll be five o'clock here tomorrow. Cheers.